G'day everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, another challenge for you in AFL 23, or a challenge for me, and it is at Marvel Stadium. We are trying to win a game with only defenders on the team. Now, we did this with forwards last week. We managed to win that. We did it with midfielders the week before. Not, didn't, didn't win that one, but let's see how we go today. Uh, we're playing against the Ds, hopefully, an interesting contest. Obviously, no Melbourne defenders allowed, so no Stephen May, no... Uh, What's the other guy's name? Jake Lever in the side. Um, Darcy Moore is, in fact, our captain. We've got a couple of Collingwood players in there. I think Isaac Quainer might be one of those. Um, but we're, we're stacked as a defensive unit, I feel. There is just class all around, and it's Harry Himmelberg in the ruck up against Max Gorn as the Ds get it away, and Gorn with the big clearance. Up towards uh, the forward line. Might have been a nice little defensive effort there from Will Powell, and now Sheasel. Has the footy. Goes dangerously into the middle of the ground, but Sicily's a great grab, isn't he? Where are his options? A big bit of space out here. Oh, instead he goes short. Finds short. Now, he is a long kick. If anyone's going to have a crack from here, it would be Jaden Short. Probably one of the only players in the competition who could do it. That's a monster. That's unrealistic. He would have cleared it. Ten rows back. Handball scurries out. Off the deck maybe once, not twice. Sicily, oh, good tackle on as well. McGovern's up there. That's Mitch, not Jeremy. Sicily, another big tackle. Dan Rioli couldn't stick one. Andy McGrath, and it's going to be taken by the Ds, and they'll look to link up through the guts and relaunch. And there's your big mark. I think it's Van Ruyen down there on Moore. So you'd think our big strength is obviously being defenders. But uh, being outmarked in defence, not an ideal way to go about things. Jacob Van Ruyen. Starts it right. It's coming back. He's got it. He's up and about. He's happy with that. Himberg to Sheasel. He's missed everything. Goals on the run are so hard to get, aren't they? So we'll take the set shots when they turn it over like that. Oh, it might be left. It's just a fraction left. Oh, that's another horrible kick from defence. That was uh, Salem. Turned it over to Sicily. And the Hawk puts it through. Get the lead for the defenders. Late in the first. Now, if you do have any qualms about if these players are in fact defenders, the game lists them all as defenders. That's the only reason we're able to use it. Oh, Andy McGrath spun out of trouble. Put it on the boot and he put it wide. Gee, that would have been a great goal. Oh, geez. Gorn's tap straight to the Lizard Blakey. Ball spills to McGovern. Got it towards Houston and Rioli in the siren sounds to end quarter time. The defenders with a three-point advantage. We expect this to probably be a low scorer, given we are very good at defence. I feel like it's lived in our forward line, though. You can see May and Lever have got majority of the ball for the Ds. Uh, and Sheasel, Sicily, uh, the leading ball winners for us. Jeez, the Marvel siren is iconic, isn't it? If you've never been to the ground at Marvel, it sounds exactly like that. That is a small attention to detail that this game has managed to nail. Could hear the D's chance as well going off to start off the term. Fist! Well done, Harris Andrews. That's what we want to see. That's not a great kick. Get there. Oh, he did, Blakey. Well done. Bailey Dale gets it away. And now Hayden Young for the Dockers. Can he just throw it on the boot towards Houston? He does. And Houston with a short one to Rioli can give it back to him. He's generally a pretty good kick, Dan Houston. He puts it on the shoe, and he just sprayed it to the right. Defenders one goal four at the moment. That's to Sheasel. Has he kicked it? No. Rioli's now moved up towards half back. Oh, gee, they had advantage there, didn't they? Should have been able to use it. That's a goal to the Ds. I mean, they probably deserved it. But one goal five. Typical defensive uh, fashion. Stick you at the other end of the ground. That's a handy goal for them. Oh, they're going backwards, the Ds. Under the pump. Picked up by Short. His kick at goal is offline. So the scores are level, but it's one goal six from the defenders. Also, the umpires should be in the blue kit. Because uh, it's clashing with mine. With my yellow. A little green attire. That's a short ball to short. He's got still men on their own. One of those is Dan Rioli. 
Here we have to line up from uh, just outside the goal square as Petrarca runs. This will extend the lead or create the lead. Have a goal for the defenders. Oh, Himmelberg got it down, but it was straight to the D's. They send it forward. Fritsch was down there, and there he come away again. The defenders through Powell. Although that's a rubbish kick. It'll be coming back. 45 seconds on the clock. Where are you going? Where are you going? You don't have any time. And he's turned it over to Darcy Moore. There would need to be a bit more urgency there, you feel. The Ds are still winning the ball a lot more, but in terms of inside 50s, we are dominating territory. 7-4 clearances in favour of the Ds, but it is 10-6 inside 50s. And of course, we've had eight scoring shots to just the two. So how is that going to play out in the second half? If we keep going... Defenders all day long. Gorn got it down to Viney to Petrarca. Run down and it's Dale off the back of the square. And here's Sheasel from long range. Yeah, he's run down. See, they're out in the pocket. Rioli. He can go one more to McGovern. And snap it through. Easy as you like, Mitch McGovern. Wouldn't mind him going back to the forward line. I'm sure Carlton fans love him in defence, though. So. Repeat entries. Repeat stoppages here. Can the defenders just snag something? Here's Sheasel. Got it. Oh, into the post. Jeez, he's filthy with himself. Oh, here's Blakey. Gets a little left football. And once again, the defenders get out the back. Hasn't had too much of it today. And he puts through another. And the defenders are starting to run away with this. Track. Goes forward, pow. Big fist, Moore just does enough. Baker, got to get the hand ball away. Sheasel now, and another one back to Baker. Can he turn back inside of the corridor? Back to Sheasel. Sends it inside 50, and he's kicked. Now he's pushed as he kicked it, but gee, there was some good ball movement there from the uh, the big fellas, the defenders. Oh, has he played on? He must have, holding the footy. And they go short and find Rioli. Gee, I have made them look absolutely garbage, the Ds. As Dan Rioli puts through another, it is a three and a half goal game now, or four goal game actually. It's 25 points. We're on fire. Oh, have a shot. It's a goal to the Ds. They needed that one. That's Viney. Oh, that's a great kick. It's Garwood. Well, they've come back in this game. Two goals quickly. Viney again, I think it was. He's single-handedly keeping them in it. Gee, so the Ds, they got another forward 50 entry just on three-quarter time, but we're not going to let them score. So we still know 13-point advantage. It's big. Can we keep it? Can we hold it? All right, the last quarter of our challenge. Can the defenders, the almighty defenders, filled with keys and uh, runners... Off the halfback line. Find a way to win against the Ds. They've got a 13-point advantage at three-quarter time, but it's Melbourne who've started stronger here in the last. And, see, they stuffed that one up, didn't they? The defenders will get it out of there. Pal. One more handball and Bailey Dale. I think has no energy because he's not running. Won't be able to get onto that, and the Ds will end up with a shot at goal through Alex Neil Bullen. They always do say, though, any good defender is a failed forward. So, in theory, this should be quite a balanced side that we've put together. And obviously they've proven that so far because we've kicked, you know, five goals, uh, seven. The inaccuracy is perfect to describe the failed forwards. And we at least have the lead, which is still uh, very good. There's Sheasel out of the middle. It's to Baker who handballed it straight to Salem. And the Ds can go back to the middle. That was Tomlinson. He gave it up to Baker who gives the handball. And now Sheasel to Rioli can run in and dribble the open goal. Obviously was a, a premiership forward back in 2017. Before moving to defence, uh, and even 2019, I think he was a premiership forward, and then moving in defence uh, in 2020, 2021 sort of years. As the Tigers made some adjustments. Here's Quainer, gets it off the Lizard, Blakey. There's plenty of room to run. Baker sort of stands there and says, what about me? Didn't need the footy anyway. I'll turn it over to Tomlinson. Himmelberg winning the ruck now that Gorn's off the bench. Well, on the bench, she's all run down by Petrarca. Now Young picks it up. He couldn't get the kick away. That's deja vu for him from the first time around. And the Ds go forward. Van Ruyen out marks more. They got to move it quickly. Gets the handball back. Might have been Salem. Has a shot. 
puts it through. It's a seven-point game. Five minutes on the clock. Actually, it's Jack Viner who puts through his third. He has literally been the best man on the ground. Oh, he's turned around and went backwards, and that might be it. They might have run themselves off the game here. As McGrath sends it forward and McGovern can't mark. Sicily puts the tackle on and locks it in for the defenders in the forward half. Sheasel. Handball. Went to no one. D's are away. And Darcy Moore. Can you... Oh, yeah. Look, I did play on. I did play on. So that'll do us. I doubt he'll have a ping. Actually, there's no one in the goal square. Can I get someone back? Yep. <laughs> Okay, well, there are the, those are the things you got to fix up. they got to do more, mate. They've got to do more than that. So another challenge done and dusted here. The defenders defeating Melbourne. We did get another win in the end, uh, which is great. And we're definitely picking up more and more problems with the game at this point. But we're obviously only a couple of weeks away uh, from a new patch, which is great. Because hopefully that all the feedback that sort of gets put in from the last one... Um, or from this update, you know, continues to improve. Because the game is like, it's in a pretty good spot. Not in an amazing spot, but it's in a pretty good spot from, I guess, where it was. Um, which is great to see. But the defenders, they, they didn't win the ball much, but they just owned owned the footy forward of it. Uh, and that my inaccuracy was probably the only reason that the Ds were able to stick in it for so long. Dan Rioli kicked 3-1. Uh, Viney had three goals and, and a million possessions, 16 of those. Harry Sheasel was our leading ball winner with Jaden Short. But we got the job done in the end. The defenders, another win. How do we reckon we're going to go with rucks? That's the next challenge. Can I, can I win with an all-ruckman team? Who will I have in that? It'll be like Gorn. You'll have like Gorn and Grundy. Darcy and Jackson. Nane Curvis will be in there. Solo will be in there. It's going to be a tough challenge, but uh, make sure you stick around and stay tuned for that. That's coming up next week. Can I win with only rucks? I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.